episode of Cooking with the Charleses. You know, this morning, I'm going to prep these party meatballs. They're going to be barbecue party meatballs. And they're going to be perfect for your Christmas gathering this year. Um, the recipe called for uh, lean ground beef, which would be like 90, 93.7. Um, but I can't eat ground beef by itself. So I'm doing a mixture. And I tripled the recipe too. Because, you know. The more you have to share, the better. So I've got um, lean ground beef, I've got lean ground turkey, and then I've got um, pork sausage. And this one's mild, but you can use spice, you can use whatever you want. I'm just gonna incorporate more spice into the sauce. Let's mix this up and then we'll get into the rest of the ingredients. So I've mixed this one. Make sure that it's well incorporated. I'm gonna mix it a little bit um, more, but not before I add a little bit of lime juice and salt. So I've got some lime. Let's just get, and this is a nice juicy lime too. I've got one that I'm gonna add. Make sure you get as much as you can. And I just think that this is, um, a good flavor enhancer, but my mom always taught me to put a little lime and salt on my meat. And you know, I have to, have to double check with her because I don't know if she ever did this to ground meat, um, ground meat, but um, I do. <laughs> and she doesn't complain, so that's always a good thing. So let's continue to incorporate until you can't really tell what uh, one meat from the other. Because you know, the worst thing is having like some, some uh, parts taste a little more beefy, some parts taste a little bit more porky. No, we want all three to be incorporated evenly for these meatballs. And I think we're just about there. It's looking beautiful. Now, let me prepare the rest of the ingredients. I'll be right back. So we are back here and um, I've got the rest of my ingredients. To this bowl are three eggs. Um, and for the rest of the stuff, I didn't quite follow the recipe that I found. But, you know, we're home cooks and we can do whatever we want, can't we? <laughs> so I've got um, uh, black pepper. I've got Worcestershire sauce. Is, did I say it right? Well, if I didn't say it right, forgive me. So I've got three teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. I also added some uh, garlic salt, garlic powder. Not garlic powder, garlic salt. I added onion powder. The recipe called for um, fresh diced onion, but it's early and I didn't feel like it. And you know, I'll probably add that diced onion into the sauce, so all will be forgiven. Um, and then black pepper, and I think, oh, and I also added um, some black garlic, and this is our mixture. Also into this one is um, milk. The recipe called for 2% milk i didn't have that on hand because i don't typically drink milk um so i had some carnation milk on hand and i just kind of watered it down but you can go with whatever you would like now the recipe also um, calls for one and a half cups because i tripled the recipe of uh, breadcrumbs i'm using panko you can use whatever breadcrumbs you have but i like to add it to this mixture and just make one big paste. And I think it's easier to incorporate into the um, into the meat that way. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it whatever way you're comfortable or whatever way you're accustomed to doing. But this is the way that I'm gonna do it. It's all in, well mostly in. Now we're gonna add it to our meat and the real work starts because you really have to make sure that everything 
is well incorporated. So let's dig in. And, you know, if you're not a fan of getting your, your hands messy, because this does require you to clean your hands quite often, uh, wear some gloves. I don't mind getting messy in some occasions, so I'm just gonna mix with my clean hands. And it shouldn't take too long to incorporate, but after we're done incorporating, we're gonna pop this back into the fridge um, so that it can firm up. And it shouldn't take too long, um, like maybe an hour or so, but for me, I'm headed to church so I will, in a few hours when I get back, that will be when I take it out and start rolling these party meatballs. But while I'm doing this, I, I turned the music off because, you know, um, copyright. But um, in between the breaks, I was listening to some Christmas music. And, you know, since the holidays are ramping up, the radio stations and you know all these other uh, stations are playing christmas music a lot what is your favorite christmas song first um for me i think it's um mary did you know do you know that one that's always uh a good christmas song for me and there was one another one by um francesca baristelli oh it's called you're here that is, those are a couple of my all-time favorites. Put in the the um, the comments what your favorite Christmas song is, and also what's your tolerance, or maybe I should say preference, for um, the amount of Christmas songs that you uh, can hear throughout the day. I think I'm about a good 50/50, but I need to to hear some of my other music too. <laughs> but let us know in the comments, okay? This is about done very well incorporated i'm gonna pop it in the fridge and it smells delicious and then it will be ready for us to roll in a few hours i'll see you then and i'm back i um just tasted it just a little bit and I thought it was missing something, so I added a little bit of chicken magi, some clove powder, and some seasoned salt. I'm gonna incorporate it in there, and I'll taste it again. If it's fine, you won't. I won't be back until it's time for rolling. <laughs> All right, bye. And we are back. I just got back from church, and my sister Katya is helping me. Say hi, Kat. Hello. Um, she's rolling the meatballs. So we want the meatballs to be um, the same size. So we're gonna, we use this, show them the scooper cut. We use this scooper, it's about an inch, inch and a half. I forgot what it is. The recipe called for um, about inch. And these look about, they look about the same, a good size. So she's gonna help me with rolling and then I'm gonna start putting them into the frying pan. I have canola oil in this one. Um, so give me just a minute, I'll hook up the camera and we'll start. All right, we've got the oil ready. This is about at medium high. And this one's a cast iron, so it holds the heat really well. We're gonna start adding the meatballs. We're just gonna heat, heat them through, okay? Because they are going to cook again in the sauce. And it's always nice to have a little helper to help you roll so that, you know, they cook at about the same time. So I'm very, thankful that uh, my sister and my mother dropped by. I don't know what else that you typically have at holiday parties, but you know, I always like um, something that's, you know, bite size. What about you, Kathy? What do you like at the holiday parties? The sweets. You like the sweets? Well, I like the sweets too. But before you get to the sweets, you gotta have something unsavory to eat. I'm over for breakfast. Um, holiday person. Breakfast hot? Well, you're a special person then. You know, actually, um, one of the holiday parties at work, we're going to have a, a breakfast get together, and I'm looking forward to it. Pigs in the blanket. I don't know if, that, if that's going to be there, but pigs in the blanket are a classic. So I'm going to put the rest of these 
um, in the pan. We'll heat them through and then we'll come back and show you. So I just put the splatter screen to help with the, um, the oil splattering. And let's take a look because we just want to have some nice color on them and then we'll take them out. Look at that. Very nice. We're just going to go around. Oh, I like that color. We'll keep going around until we reach the other side, huh? There's some over here for that. Just keep an eye on them. You don't want them to, to burn or do anything like that. And we've got another one in that's waiting on the side that we will put in after this one. But it's looking good so far. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, the meatballs are about ready to come out. They're just the color that I'd like. So I'm gonna scoop them out. I might need a, something a little bigger, huh? I'm coming in with the big boys. Making sure I got the color I like. We're just gonna pop them on the plate. So cool and relax. Remember, they don't have to be cooked all the way through. You just want that color because they will continue to cook in the sauce. Come on, come on. Don't mind that popping. Those are just flavors developing in process, in progress. All right, I'm going to get the next batch. We'll heat them through, and then we're gonna get to the sauce. See you in a bit. We are done with the um, frying. Now we're gonna start off with the sauce. And you don't have to do this for the sauce, but I'm gonna do this because I did not put onions into the meatballs. So I'm gonna start with onions. This is one. And then I'm going to put a little garlic in there as well. And this is the same oil that you fried the meatballs in. I've got minced garlic. It's going in. A couple tablespoons. Uh, maybe a, a little bit more. Let's stir it up. Just let that cook for a little... A while. And we'll be back to check on it. It's been cooking for a few minutes. That's the consistency that we wanted. It's kind of brown and kind of caramelizing at this point. And what we're going to do is we're going to add chili sauce. I've got three um, 12 ounce um, uh, containers. And then also some jelly, but let's add the chili sauce first. Oh, I'm on chili sauce. There you go, there you go. We are going to let this cook through before we add um, the meatballs back in. Oh, don't you start, don't you start, behave, behave. The oil is going a little it's not it's not sure what's gonna happen but it's gonna be delicious so it has to behave give me a few minutes and I'll be right back okay so the um, the barbecue sauce is starting to simmer right now and that's exactly where you want it to be it's well incorporated the chili and the um, jelly combined, they make the barbecue sauce. What I'm gonna do now is, and if you're not a fan of um, spice, don't do this, but I've got um, some ghost pepper powder. Don't add too much. I'm literally gonna add this much. That's it, you don't need 
much more at all unless you want to just be crying as you eat your meatballs so let's stir that in to the barbecue sauce and then we're going to start to add our meatballs and we'll let it simmer until all the flavors marry i think this is my favorite part so let's get some meatballs and they're going in one Ooh. your party guests are going to be excited give me a few minutes and i'll be back okay so we fit all of our meatballs in here and believe it or not i had way too much um barbecue sauce so i had to take some out i'm gonna show you how much i had to take out look at all this it's okay we'll use it for another time i'm just gonna put this in the freezer um so we're gonna let these simmer let them simmer for about um you know 15 20 25 minutes and then we will get to sampling see you in a bit okay so we just needed to heat them through it's been about 15 minutes and i'd say they are heated through they are getting plump with the um, with the barbecue sauce, oh, and they are looking ready to sample. I'm going to have my mom sample. Isn't that right, mom? Yeah. She's gonna sample a few of these party uh, barbecue meat. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> She's gonna sample a few of these party barbecue meatballs, and we'll see what she thinks. Be back in just a minute. We have mom here with us. Say hi, mom. Hello. And she's gonna try these delicious barbecue party meatballs. Let's see what she thinks. It's de gone. Do you like the, the toothpicks with them, mom? I like it. It makes it like a, a travel party? Travel thing. party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think, mom? Mm. It tastes delicious delicious oh mm. she's dipping it into the sauce i love it do you like that we made our own barbecue sauce mom yes and it's so simple chili sauce grape um uh, jelly or you know concord jelly whatever and, you and like. it's a little bit hot too oh a little spicy and, and that's make it even better i know you like spicy because i put some of the um of that ghost pepper in there mm. just a little bit did you see how little i put in there and how much spice it is mm. that's so good well, continue to enjoy this, Mom. I'm just so happy that you, you're you enjoying it. And I think all your party guests will enjoy this as well. But I forgot to mention, while I was having such a good time with you, that, uh, oh, to thank our current subscribers, also our new subscribers. And if you're enjoying our content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our family. We have a goal of 2,000 new subscribers for this year and you know the time's dwindling but we can make it you guys can help us so remember life's better well seasoned we'll see you next time bye bye